13, how are you? Welcome back after the weekend and welcome to day 76 of Lindos Luscious Limberines. Thank you again for joining me. As always, it's lovely to see you. Today is the first one back after the break, so it's going to be more mobility and some uh, dynamic stretching, maybe getting a bit more cardio at the end. We'll see how we go. Uh, so again, Remember, do whatever you can when we're doing the dynamic stretching. You know, don't go to your extremes of movement. Dynamic stretching is when we are moving in and out of a stretch uh, versus static stretching, which is what we're holding it. So don't go to your extremes of movement. It's about mobilizing the soft tissues and also the joints as well in some cases. So uh, take it easy, use the breath, and remember to just work within your own limits. If you want to take what I'm doing as an inspiration to do, <laughs> as inspiration, and the uh, as an inspiration to do your own versions as long as they're safe, uh, please do. So the, this is just about us finding ways to uh, keep moving. Okay, with that in mind, let's go to day 76's playlist if, we're, if you're joining me with that. Three, two, one, go. And starting with feet hip width apart, just a nice reminder how to do that here. Sink the butt, lift the head, and shoulders. Now, I want you to keep all these movements light today. So I have the sense that you're turning off all the extraneous muscles and only using what's minimally required. Still keep the sacrum sinking down and going forwards. Keep breathing deep into the belly. Let the small of the back expand to touch the back wall and elbows going backwards. I've turned the music up because I like this song that I'm playing. So I'm sorry if I'm, I'm trying not to shout. <laughs> Go forwards. Good, and big windmills. So really have the feeling that you're letting this come from the core and not from the arms itself. If you've tightened your knees, let them go, keep going backwards. So really let the coccyx sink down towards the floor. The top of the head wants to extend all the way up to the heavens. Now we're gonna go forwards. Now your neck and shoulders might be wanting to tighten here, so really encourage them to let go. You can imagine you're breathing into them. Soften through the diaphragm and through the belly. Keep going. Good, and to get rid of that tension, just swinging forwards and back. Really let the arms release, particularly as they swing down. And feel like you're giving a spread across the small of the back here. Release the arms all the way from the shoulder blades. Okay, two in a circle, one, two, and circle. And the other way, one, two, and circle. One more time each way, one, two, and circle. Last time, one, two, circle. Good, circling wrists and ankles. If you want, if you've got bare feet, you can just let the toes roll over a little bit. Weights on the ball of the ground of foot and change directions of both. Keep it nice and light. Good, and changing directions and feet. And the other way. Good, legs a little wide arm. And just starting to do some chicken back stroke nice and easy. But now I'm using the whole of the pectoral girdle. So right from the sternum. So all the pecs and the shoulder blades, they're all contributing to this movement and I've got a slight weight shift from side to side. And let's go double time on that. Keep it light. Really, really light. Feel like you're doing nothing at all. Going forward slowly. If you want, you can indulge a bit more into that weight shift just to get a bit of a stretch along the Achilles and the calf. 
and double time. Good, coming together, knees circling. Really spreading out across the small of the back here. I like multitasking and change direction. Good, coming up and just turning from the shoulders, keep the hips facing forward. And really let go of the arms. So remember the move is coming only because the shoulders are moving, or in fact the thorax is moving. Keep those knees soft, otherwise you'll put strain on the knees, lifting up through the head. Keep going. Good, Just take it out wide, I'm just gonna go into a figure of eight. Really slow, so I want you to indulge in this stretch up here, so you get a bit of a stretch along the ribs, and then let it go as it sweeps down. Really feel like you're releasing everything out. You can turn your chest so you face the ball. Change direction. Beautiful. All right, we're going to massacre some yoga. Coming to the end of your mat. Fix your pants. Good. So we're going to breathe in. In. Two. Three, four, and out. Two, three, four, in. Two, three, rolling down. Two, three, four. Breathe in look to look forward and lengthen. Two, three, four, and out. Two, really relax the head down. Breathing in again, look forward and lengthen. And out. Roll up through the spine. Breathing in. And breathing out. Again, breathing in over four. Breathing out, roll down through the spine. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. And down. Walking out, breathing in. And we're just going to stay here for the moment. Lengthening through the spine. And just really small turns from side to side. Good. Walking the hands back to the feet. Rolling up through the spine. And down. Good, roll the shoulders. Rolling forwards. Good, gonna go again for a count of four. This time we're gonna keep on going through. And breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathing out, rolling down. Two, three. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. And down. And creeping out. Breathing in. Elbows in. Breathe out to go push up down. Down. Two. Three, four, back up. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, four, bum in the air, into a child's pose. Breathing in to scoop through into an upward dog, just as far as you can. Tuck the toes under, lift the bum, breathe it out into a down dog. And just stay here for you, just walk through the floor. Good, settle the feet. Walk the hands in, breathing out. 
Breathe in to look forward and lengthen. Breathing out, going down. Breathing in to roll up. And breathing out to go down. All right, we're gonna do that all through again with no pausing, but this time we're gonna go double the speed. Feet hip width apart. Here we go. Breathing in, two, and down. Breathe in to look forward and lengthen. Breathe out, go down. Breathing in, walk out. Breathe out, lower down. Breathe in, come back up. Breathe out, go down. Breathe in, into child's pose. Breathe out, straight into an upwards dog. Breathe in to a down dog. Breathe out, walk the hands in. Breathe in, look forward and lengthen. Breathe out, rolling down. Breathing in, rolling up the spine. Breathing out, going down. And again, breathing in, arms up. Breathing out, go down. Breathe in, look forward and lengthen. Breathe out, go down. Breathing in, walk out. Breathe out, lower down. Breathe in, go up. Breathe out, go down. Breathe in, child's pose. Breathe out, up the dog. Breathe in, down dog. Breathe out, walk your hands in. Breathe in, look forward and lengthen. Breathe out, go down. Breathing in, rolling up. Breathe out, go down. Last time through, breathing in. Breathe out, go down. Breathe in, look forward and lengthen. Breathe out, go down. Breathe in, walk out. Breathe out, go down. Breathe in, going up. Breathe out, go down. Breathing in to a child's pose. Breathe out, upward dog. Breathe in, down dog. Breathe out, walk the hands in. Breathing in, rolling up. And down. Beautiful. All right, just turn around. So you're facing the end of your mat. I'm going to do a squat. Two. Back up. Two. Squat. Two. Back up. Two. Squat. Then we're going to place the hands down. I'm going to keep the right leg back. And the left leg back. Right leg forward. Left leg forward. Back hip into a squat. And up. So, squat. Two. Hands. Right, left, right, left, up. Starting with the left leg, squat, hands. Left, right, left, right, squat. Good, one more each side. Squat, hands. Right, left, right, left. And up last time. Squat. Hands. Left. Right. Left. Good. Stay there in the squat. Good. From here, just going to go turning from side to side. Keep going. Good. Hands down. This time step back into an actual little down dog just for a stretch. So lifting the butt towards the ceiling. Thinking about letting the thighs rest on the wall behind you. Good, from here we're just gonna go down to our knees. So we go knees, then back up again lifting the butt. Then knees. And butt. Keep going. Knees. Up. Knees. Two more. 
Good, stay on the knees. And behind your head, and we're gonna go forearm and out. Forearm, make sure you're flattening off your back. Forearm. Good, four more of those. One. Good. Change over to the other arm. So in, two, and out. Two, in, two, out. And in. That's halfway. Two more. Good, now putting the hands down, we're going to go point the leg out, then slowly raise up as far as you feel comfortable, down and in, stay in the same leg. So send the knee away, slowly raise it up, down. So as you raise it up, make sure you don't arch the back, so you're pulling the belly button into the spine, sustain. So it's the same movement we often do, but this time it's asking you to do a slow and sustained movement rather than kick it up. And we are halfway, people. Out. And up. You know, we used to do this in calisthenics. <laughs> Who would have thought I'm doing it now? Out. And up. In. And down. Out. And up. Good, we're going to change straight to the other leg. Here we go. Out. Up. In. Make sure that with your head, your gaze is just before your hands, so that you're not curving over like that. If you're feeling comfortable with it, each time you go up, you can challenge yourself as to how far you go. Just get that nice stretch along, along, along the leg. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I've lost count. Um, <laughs> I think we've got two more after this. Let's just two, do two more, just for a bit of joy. <laughs> I know some of you will be screaming, we've done it, we've done it, but think how character building this is. Good, straight the other leg. And we're gonna go out, up, up, and down. Up, up, and down. Up, up, and down. Good, and reverse the direction. Out, up. So remember when you do this, actually try and hit those poses. So don't blur the, it, blur the shape into a circle. You wanna go out, up. So directly out like a dog going for a pee. Good, and changing. Make sure you're engaging through the shoulder blades here, not Taking it through the biceps. And changing directions. Good, and shake out the butt. Sit back, and now roll out the shoulders. Good work. And the other way. And rolling out the wrists. Good, coming up on two. The knee and work the pelvis. So rocking the pelvis under just until we get a stretch along the flexor here. 
I'm just gonna shift myself back in the mud a bit. You guys keep going. Good, and changing legs. Four. Three, two, and one. Good, just change it back to the first leg. And we're going to just step it forwards and then back. Forwards and back. So remember, don't go to your extreme of movement. And keep going. Good, changing legs, back and forwards. Good, one more set. Good, now changing around legs again. Um, we're gonna go from rocking back into stretching. So you can turn the foot around behind. Good, we're gonna keep going, but we're gonna go half time on this now. So you can go down, two, up. Oh, I think it's the same time. <laughs> Let's do it again. Switch, two. Three, four, up, two, three, four. Then do can count. Good, changing legs. And half time. Changing legs. Now we're going to go from stretching down up into a crescent. Then down into a crescent. Now, if you like, if you're comfortable with a the crescent, then as we come up, you can take yourself off the floor with the knee. Changing legs. Just start off with the basic form. Now, if you're feeling like you've got the balance and the strength for it, as we go up into the crescent, tuck that toe under, come up, taking the knee off the ground. Good. All right. Popping that leg behind. And we're going to reach out. Two, three, and change over. Good. Lift the butt up. Walking through. Good, rolling the hands in, rolling up through the spine. Wide stance and squat. Two, three, four. Bring the hands in. One, two, three, 
four, and side steps. Staying nice and low. Good. Now stepping behind and kick. Behind, double time. Behind and kick. Behind, kick, behind. Now rather than bend the knee, we're going to swing the leg. Behind and up. Behind, up, behind and up. Change the leg, slowly off slow. Behind and kick. Behind, double time. Behind and kick. Behind and kick. Behind. Good, just swing the leg now. Behind and kick. Stay on balance, two sets. Good, stepping. Bringing the arms into a swing. And now into a drop. Good, down. And shoulders. Two and then a circle. One, two, circle. One, two, circle. One, two, circle. Again, so there's me thinking about what to do next. And stepping aside. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now with the hands, you're going to go out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And then we do a little double B. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And attention to shoulders. And again. Good. Shake out the body. She's my playlist, you might not have the same as mine. That's okay. Reach up. And reaching. Flying down through the spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down again. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, back up. Eight, seven, six, five. Take the legs out wide, roll down again. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good. Stay down there. And gently pop out one hip and the other. And just turn that into a bit more of a twist with the thorax. Good, now let's start to take it down. Use your hands to support as you're just going from side to side. Really open up with the small of the back as you do this. And if you're feeling comfortable with it, just settle into a stretch. If this is too much, just come up. So it's better to have this heel flat on the floor and change. We'll go back to the first one and just turn on the balls of the foot so you're facing the wall. And the hand that's the same as the foot that's forward, we're going to reach up and through. Up and through. Up. Good. Now just turn it all the way up. So we want to seal it and hold. Place the hand down, just take the weight in your hands and turn around so that you're on the side of your hip and stretch up to the side. Okay. 
and then coming back. Take away the back foot again. Just take yourself over to the other side. Turn to face the wall. Hello, plant. And the same hand as foot. Up and through. Up and through. And then just stretching up towards the ceiling. And come down, take the weight in the hands, just turn that foot out to the front, turn to the side, and stretch sideways up through the hips. Good, turning back, tuck the toe under, send the leg back, walk yourself into a comfy down dog, and just stretch out. Lifting the butt. And then pop the knees down and arching up for the spine. Arch and down. And again, use the breath. And down. And again, breathing in. Really let the head relax down so that the neck gets a nice stretch. Good, level off. And to circle round to the left. And then straight back to the right. And keep changing directions. Good, just sitting down on the back. And just to finish off, just gonna stretch through the quads. Um, so we're gonna do the one where we go onto the balls of our feet. So that's too intense. The alternative is to grind your belly and to bring the legs up. Otherwise, pop them to the balls of your feet. And just point one knee towards the ground. Lengthen through this side of the body. So you can feel like you're trying to send the pelvis forwards a bit. That will increase the stretch somewhat. Lengthen through the head, don't sort of crunch through the neck. And then just take the thigh out a little bit, keep stretching. And then back in, so it's pointing in a little bit. And changing. It wasn't too painful today, was it? Yeah, how nice am I? <laughs> It's got entirely everything to do with how I feel on the, on the day. <laughs> but, you know, that's life. <laughs> Good, and turn it out. Good, and let's sit yourself down. Just shake out those wrists. And ah, shaky, shaky, shaky. Let them be nice and released. And sit the triceps. At arm across for a tricep stretch, keeping the shoulder blades aligned. Breathing deep into the belly, don't let any tension come through the small of the back or the jaw while you're doing this. Good, hold it out. And the other arm. Don't think you can hear, I think my neighbor's singing. It's very tuneful. Uh, good, and then final, 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 final thing. Just creeping forwards. If Cross legs to is uncomfortable for you going to a normal child's pose. Otherwise, reaching down. Dig the fingertips into the ground as far as you can go and then just gently pull back against them, relax the hip right down to the floor. And have the feeling the slider, the slider blades and also the shoulder blades are sliding out sideways. You definitely want to make sure those slider blades are moving. Good, breathing in. Breathe out, use the hands to come back up. If you're in this position, change legs, otherwise just go back down into another child's pose. I've got some lower kids outside, so that's quite nice. Uh, great, that's day 76, that's and easy, hey? Uh, thank you for joining me, I will join, see you tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> Those of you in Victoria, it's, uh, shit's getting heavy down here at the moment, so um, I don't know when you're going to be watching this, 
But uh, I'm going to say this now. Please genuinely keep yourself safe. <sighs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me again. Be kind to yourself and to others. Lots of love. Bye.